Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed today. Listen, the spirit of the Lord is a sweet spirit. And he loves you so much. I know because of the words he gives me to share with you. You that is watching me, I'm talking to you. You are his beloved. And he loves you. <laughs> he loves you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, are you ready to call forth your daily bread? Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you. Oh, we are guided into all truth by your spirit of truth. And I see burdens lifted right now. Age-long burdens are being lifted right now. I see someone, your left side, but your left shoulder down, it's like it's a bit heavy for you. When you, when, when, when you walk, in your mind, you actually feel you're bending um, in a certain way. Sometimes you even ask people, do I bend when I walk? Because you, you feel that part of your body carries more weight. So it's like it's pulling you down. I command that op oppression right now to go from you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's, it's leaving you now in Jesus' name. Be free from that body. The Lord did not put that body on you. So be free from it now in Jesus' name. And whatever sickness that have become a yoke on you, that sickness that is causing you to spend money unnecessarily, I command it to go from you and be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now we're talking about walking in the light. How to walk in the light. And I'm showing you this scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter number 2. And verse 12 and 13, it says, now we have received. First, we receive the Holy Spirit. Now, what does the Holy Spirit do in you? Now, listening and listening hard. Sometimes we spend a lot of time praying, but then we don't know what to expect when we pray. I enjoy this so much. And that's why when I pray long, that's what keeps me going. Because when we pray, we're not just there praying in tongues and, and, and say, I'm going to pray in tongues for two hours. And then you go, Reke Baba, Jeke Tinge, Bradike Deke, five minutes. Oh, Loko Shike Nika Diga Baba, Raka Kaka Kaka. And then your mind, you say, um, I'm hoping time would have reached like 30 minutes now. Reke no, oh. 15 minutes. Ah, time should go now. Ah, time should go now. Rakakakali ke me me. Ah, le broko no. Wow, hey, 45 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. My clock one hour. Aleka da gajaka bam 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 bam. One hour, 15 minutes. Ah, is it really 45 minutes? Come on now. What you're doing is useless. You you can best say you're just exercising your tongue speaking. I think that's the best thing to say. You are just exercising your tongue speaking. But you are not praying with the Holy Spirit. Because, listen, when you're praying with the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you this. If you've not experienced this, then that's why I'm sharing it with you. If you've experienced it, you will, you will, you will acknowledge that what I'm saying is true. Now, when you're praying in the Spirit, and you're praying, and praying and praying of course this this calls for concentration no no you're praying and your mind is wandering everywhere oh how many people are coming to knock on my door how many people are no no no, no. You, you you sometimes shutting your eyes will do or staying in a secluded place will do so you're praying in the spirit then you begin to move your mind to the person of the holy spirit 
Not on the problem. No, Father, this thing has to be so. Oh, God, this thing has to be so. Father, I need this money now. I need, oh, Lord. No, you move your mind to the person of the Holy Spirit. You can even, I mean, how do I even speak this tongue? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. That's what's going to happen. This is the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking in tongues by the power of the Holy Spirit. He is the one giving me utterance. Man, see, see how I just speak effortlessly in tongues. And you're praying, because you keep your mind on him. Soon, soon, you hear, you begin to hear Romans chapter 5 and verse 17. Or you're going to hear a, a scripture. It just now you never thought about that scripture. You you didn't think about that. You've not thought about that scripture recently. And at other times, you you will hear him, <clears throat> you just borrow and then you just give it. Do you know when Jesus said they that you know I am the light of the world? Do you know this is what he meant? You you're praying, and it's like, when Jesus said I'm the light of the world, do you know this is what he meant? Like, oh yeah. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. whoa, yes, yes, ah, ha, ha. yeah, shata. You, your prayer. Now, now, what's going on? It has boosted your prayer, but you haven't landed yet. You're praying for something specific now, maybe finances, maybe your health, whatever it is, a situation, and it, that, 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 that's how the Holy Spirit comes. But sometimes he doesn't come directly telling you this thing you're praying for. I have heard you. No, that's not how he works. Let me tell you now. That's not. <laughs> Permit me to use this one. I'm using it with every righteousness that is in me and with the love of God in me. When you are praying for something and the Lord said, son, I have done it. It's a trap. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a trap. Now, not, not from the devil now. But listen, I'll, I'll tell you why I say it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap because you are tempted to stop praying. Hey, Father, yeah, thank you, Lord. You say you have done it. You say you have done it. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ah, amen, amen. Oh, wow. God say he has done it. God say, yeah. You may spend the next two years, you won't see that thing. Did he lie to you? No, he didn't lie. But you didn't understand his operation. <laughs> so that's why I say it's a trap. So you're praying. I say, the son, that which you are seeking, I have given you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The next thing you should begin to concentrate on are the instructions that he should give you. Yeah. So you don't stop there. You bless him for it. And then you switch your mind. When he tells you, I have done it, it means your mind has been on, Lord, you've got to do this thing for me. You've got to do this thing for me. And he says, I've done it. Oh, yeah. Now, when he says, I've done it, you don't just jump and start getting excited anyhow. I've done it. Like, yeah. Yeah. You won't lie to me. You've done, but then why am I not working in it? Why haven't I seen anything like it yet? Oh, now you're asking the right question. Then he, he begins to open up to you. He begins to tell you, it is because you have been raised. Now you're praying, you're praying. And, and it's because you have been reasoning this way instead of this way. I, oh, oh, I see. <laughs> Lord, I'm so now you begin to repent. Now remember, he told you he has done it, but don't stop there. Pray some more. This is fellowship. You're not consulting a tree that the tree will tell you, I have done it. Ah, he has done it to let us go back. You are in fellowship with someone. Ask every question you need to ask. Lord, I believe you've done it. Yeah, thank you for reminding me that. Lord, why am I not walking in it as I should? I experienced it one time, but I was long ago. I've been trying to replicate that miracle and it's not working. What's going on? He says, He, he, he won't just come and tell you, I've done it and, 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 and walk away. No. Then he'll begin to tell you. Because you see, when you acknowledge him, uh, 
You remember what he says, in all your way, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Now your understanding, he acknowledged that you have understanding. So he says, don't lean on it. Okay, so so I'm dealing with God now, and then He says, "I've done it." Right? Mm, I I knew it. I said it, and then you now bring up, bring your ah, ah, no, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> you are not walking in it. So He says, "I've done it." Yes, don't lean on your own understanding. You. Are, that's why Jesus said, "Except you are converted." and be like a little child you will not function in the kingdom because now you, you come before him and say lord teach me teach me now many times i've had the lord ask me questions and he says what do you think about this you know you know many years ago i'll be explaining you know it's this and then it's this and then it's this and then i said are you done i said yes sir and then when he speaks you're like how see how foolish i was in my reasoning i said lord I was taught wrong, <laughs> you know. Now I grew to that point. He said, son, do you know, or what do you think about this? I said, Lord, you know what? Tell me what you want to tell me. I'm listening to you, Lord. Because I know if I open my mouth now, it's foolishness. It'll come out of my mouth concerning this thing. Because he's not going to ask me what he knows I understand fully. <laughs> when he tells me, when he said, do you, do you, do you understand? Or can you tell? Uh, he wants to teach me something new. He wants to teach me something new. So I said, Lord, I'm listening. Tell me. And by the time he's done, ah, woo, many things like that. Sometimes you're praying. In your prayer, he begins to explain the scriptures to you like you've never seen before. And then you get out. From, now that's how we get messages that we preach. You go before the Lord and you be Father. Lord, I have this meeting that's I've been invited for, and you, you permitted me to go. Well, what would you have me talk to them about? What would you have me? And then Lord said, talk to them about walking in righteousness. Or talk to them about walking in the light. He said, okay. Don't go there and go. You know, you know what you do? He said, oh, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. And then you go and get your concordance. Oh, okay, today, computer. You know, and then you know, walking in the light. Or you messages on walking in the light. And then you go, hey, 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 hey. You know what you're doing? He has spoken to you, yes, but then you are now leaning on your own understanding. Lord, what about walking in the light? Oh! <laughs> And then he begins to explain to you and open it. And then soon you, you, now you, you are going to preach somewhere. And then you become the first student. I say, ha, ah, I see. I've never seen this in this light before. Say, so that's why I'm telling you to go teach them how to walk in the light. The Lord will not send you to go and teach people what you already know. I didn't say what they already know. I said what you already know. If the Lord is sending you to go teach somebody something, listen, there is something about that thing that he is yet to open up to you, that your obedience will open up. Now, that's my experience with him. You know how time is up? Praise <laughs> God. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? Why don't you join us in fellowship this evening? The address is on your screen. Let's, let's have some more time to talk about this thing. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.